Well, let's talk about Princess Katana and the advice that she offers. She's the former king of Outworld's daughter, daughter adopted Shao Kahn's by the adopted Emperor. daughter. Yeah. yeah, and she's not much of a fighter. She just tends to use the battle. She kind of lays around and looks hot and gets people in trouble. Uh, she, and the moment she sets eyes on Liu Kang, she's giving him the bedroom oh, eyes. Oh yeah, she's totally oh, into she Liu Kang. Wants him. But her whole deal is she's smitten with Liu Kang, and so she's constantly dropping clues that he can use to defeat his opponents in the Mortal Kombat tournament. For example, it turns out that Liu Kang is going to be the one that ends up facing Sub-Zero. She yeah. is a tough guy. Pretty hot, too, under that mask, from so what I've heard. So how on earth is Liu Kang going to defeat Sub-Zero? <gasps> I have no idea. He gets in this sexy little spar fight with Katana while Ooh. Shang Tsung is observing, and she's not really putting her heart into it, and he mm. can't either, because he can't hit a girl. Unless it's Sonya. Yeah, nobody cares about Sonya. Until the very end when she's So she's like wrestling helpless. with Liu Kang and she's like, in your next fight, you must use the element that brings life. And Shang Tsung's like, hey! No table talk! Enough of that! Breaks the fight up. And then Liu Kang has to go fight Sub-Zero later. But we're thinking element that brings life. <laughs> you have to say the best part. Do yeah, do, exactly. Just carrying these pails of water. <laughs> Raiden is disguised as a monk looking after his people, and he walks in with that shoulder strap thing that's like a pole with one bucket of water on either end. Mm-hmm. And he makes a point of sitting the buckets down and taking a ladle and taking a big juicy Sip drink of water. Of water. Mm-mm, in the delicious midst of the water. fight ground where Liu yeah. Kang Delicious life-giving water. I'll just take this drink here on the battlefield. Mm-mm, how I love my delicious life-giving water. Oh. And leaves the buckets there. I'm just gonna walk away now. I just thought of something else I have to do. But Liu <laughs> Kang's not the sharpest cookie in the box, so I was saying, what if he didn't figure out immediately that water was, was the it? element that gives life? Yeah, see, I suggested, what if he thought it was fire? Because without fire, our ancestors would have never been able to survive, keep the big animals that bay and cook their food. Fire was a big thing. Fire brings life. Fire brought life. (laughs) So if he tried that and got whacked. Well, I thought, what about earth? Plants grow in the earth. They need the earth in order. And we need the plants in order to survive. Yeah, what about the air? What about oxygen? (laughs) We need oxygen to breathe. Like, that (laughs) brings life. Without oxygen, we would be dead. So he could, like, try all of these things and then finally get to water, but that doesn't actually happen. No, I think it would have been funny if he had, though. He takes out a little lighter and tries to burn him or something. Blows on him really hard. Yeah. (laughs) Picks up some dirt and throws it at him. No. no. He just, like, checks him off the list. It's not not earth. He's lucky he wasn't doing, wind. like, you know, the Chinese elements, because the Chinese elements are a little different from the Aristotelian elements. They, yeah. We've got water, air, fire, and earth, and occasionally spirit, if you want to do Captain Planet. Let me tell you something, though. How do you fight someone with spirit? Do you start singing cheers at them or something? <laughs>